Are you hosting or am I hosting? You're hosting. Hello and welcome to the Chapscast Game Chat, episode 21. Yeah. 21. Yeah. 21. 21. Yes. Uh, today we are doing the giveaway yeah. for Gears of War, the yeah. 1 through 3 plus Judgment. Yes. And then we're going to talk about Nintendo Switch. Yeah. All right. So Josh, how do you want to go about this for well, the giveaway? Well, before we do that, Steve... Yes. We have to do a shot of the show. We have to do a shot of the show. We can't. We can't. The priority, Steve. What are we doing today, Josh? This thing. This thing. It's it's from Jamaica. I probably should have checked if they could have read that on the camera before yeah. placing it. It's Appleton Estate. It's a rum. It's it's used the finest casks. I was going to say caskets. <laughs> oh, man. Made from dead people. It says craft in the heart of Jamaica. They literally mean heart of Jamaica. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man. All right. Let's get this done. We have a lot to talk about today. We have a lot. Cheers, Steve. Cheers. Oh. Breathe the fire. Breathe the fire. That was pretty gross. <laughs> Second sip. <laughs> Can't let it go to waste, Steve. Yep. Yeah. Oh. So, Steve. Yes. Giveaway. Giveaway. Are you excited? I am for whoever wins. Me too. Um, so, so we have like eight participants. Seven, six. Six participants. Six participants who both liked and subscribed to our channel. There oh. were people who did one. And not the other. And so they didn't get entered. Which, it happens, and then, like, maybe, like, by the time this recording, you know, maybe people enter it afterwards, but... This is recording as literally recording. the night before we show. So, so it's, it's Sunday night, we unless, post on Monday. Yeah, unless you do it, like, midnight, and it's like... Well, yeah, it's, then you fucking missed. You messed up, Drop the ball. <laughs> but, anyways, so, I have randomly assigned people uh, numbers. Yes. And okay. I'll, I'll read off the list of names, just so that we, like... Clearly know who has been entered. Now, this isn't in any order, though. This isn't associated. This is just random. So, but you have associated them with a number. I have. And then I'm going to pick a number. Yes. And that's going to be the winner. Yes. Good luck. All right. So, oh. random name one. Uh, Fernando AB has entered. Okay. I saw this guy. Entered a lot of Gears Pretty of War cool. right, competitions. Well. So, Best good luck. luck. He's got to win one of them, right? He really wants it. Yeah. And uh, then I've got Penguins Unite. Meh. Hmm. XX. Sorry, sorry. Penguins Unite Mint? Yeah, that's all one. Yeah. Okay. I'm um, sure that was like three. XX Camels, XX are cool. Camels are cool. Okay. Then, uh, we got that Tanner answer. Wolf Jacobs, right. friend of the show. Yeah. Then we we also questions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then we have, uh, DJ, your brother. Yeah. And then KVSKFTW. All one word. KVSKVW. I feel like I recognize it from somewhere. But yeah. Hmm. Those are some. I wonder, uh, whatever. All right. KVS, KVW. Oh, all right. Whatever. Okay. All right. So you've assigned the numbers. Yes. One through six. One through six. Now, number two is usually my go-to. I'm not going to say that. Don't, don't go. Because it's my favorite number. Oh, shit. With that said, I'm going to go with four. You're going to go with four? With four. That is Penguins Unite Me. Penguins Unite Me. You got you won. You are our winner. You won Gears of War one, two, three, and Judgment. Plus, yeah, Judgment. <laughs> Plus Judgment. Uh, so who was number two? I kind of feel bad now for not picking two. KVS. All right, okay. fair enough. Yeah. All right. So nice. I'll send you a message on YouTube and with your codes. Yeah. Sometime tomorrow, probably. Yeah. Maybe yeah, tonight. Post or, yeah. or tonight. Yeah. Okay. Depends. Yeah. When our right. goes live. So now we have our Gears winner. Congratulations. Dude, congratulations. No First, idea who that is. No idea. Great work. I like uh, how it wasn't one of the people that we know. Yeah. yeah. That's actually, I actually kind of appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, Nintendo Switch. Oh, man. Switching topics. Tell me about it. <laughs> it's on Nintendo's new console handheld. Hansel. Hansel. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Sounds like a gross cream. <laughs> Got any Hansel? Yeah. Um, yeah, what, what do you think? What are your impressions? I like the name. I think it clearly tells the consumer what mom and dad, you know, what it is. 
Yeah, Switch. It's like, oh, you play it on your TV, and then you switch to handheld. I like that. I like that name. Very straightforward. Yeah, and I like how they completely, like, changed their, like, messaging to away from the Wii and Wii U. Because with that, it was more like family. Anything with Wii in there, too, like, the name-wise. Anything with Wii, Mm -hmm. this thing would be gone. Yeah. No chance. No. And, like, for the tablet, too, like, instead of making it look like Wii, like, using, like, a touchpad or something like that, there was no touchscreen at all. Not that it showed. Not that it showed. But also makes me wonder, is, is there one at all? Because if it's playing on the TV and on the handheld, like, if you can't touch the screen when it's on the TV because it's in the dock. You're right. Yeah. There's... But it'd be good for, like, menus and stuff, I guess. It reminds me of, like, an adult version of the Wii. Yeah. It's literally what the Wii should have been. Yeah. <laughs> and had this come out, I don't know, I think the Wii U, sorry, the Wii U came yeah. out in, like, 2012, I think. Yeah. Maybe 2013, I think 2012, fall 2012. I think had it come out then, it would have fucking cleaned up. For sure. Oh, man. And I think depending on battery, which is, I think, the biggest concern. Yeah. Even price point, I think we have an idea of where it could be within 100 or $200. Yeah. So I think it's going to be anywhere between 299 and 399 It'll be somewhere in may, maybe 349 tops. I can't imagine it going past that. Yeah. But it's all about the battery life and the memory. Yeah, those are too big. What like what is this? Yeah, it's got to have massive memory. <laughs> or if, even if it's got like a an SD card thing, like the 3DS. Yeah, and then that way, do what you want. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, Steve, how much do you think it'll be priced at? What do you think about uh, memory wise? What do you think it'll be at? I think price wise, um, probably two ninety nine America, which is what three nine three forty nine probably. Probably three forty nine. Yeah. So I think that's probably what will be here in Canada. Uh, memory. I'm really hoping there's some type of hard drive in this. If not, the SD card thing sounds good. It's just mainly like I like to buy my games digital now because I don't like having to constantly put in like especially games. with something on the go. Yeah. And I hate physical games now. I can't believe how much I changed. No, it's like, it's okay for at your house, but at the same time, like, you just want to sit on your couch Even and then, just... Yeah, I'm too lazy to get up and switch a disc. Yeah. Even I'm re-watching Dragon Ball when it comes to round two. There's... It's about eight discs per season. So it's seven or eight discs. And yeah. I don't want to get up to change it. <laughs> no. I always consider buying them digitally so I don't have to do that. Yeah, you probably should. No, that's expensive. <laughs> that on top of what I've already bought, no. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm excited. You're excited, Steve? I'm excited. Now, let me hear your impressions on the design. Because, like, yeah. with it, um, like, it showed it with the, like, in the console version where you just kind of sit it in the thing. And then also showed, like, the controllers that can attach to the tablet-like device. And then also showed, like, a different type of controller. Give me your thoughts, on these families of controllers. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a shit ton of controllers. Yeah. With that said, in the bundle, mm. how I imagine it being is that it's not going to come with the home dock. Really? Really. I think that's going to be a big thing. It's going to come in. No. Yeah. So it's going to come in. This is the prediction. Calling it now for March 2017. And I'm going to call it March 23rd. Yeah, I don't March know 23rd. what day that is of the week. I <laughs> should look that up first. It's going to be a Friday. <laughs> March 23rd, Friday. Don't check your calendars. <laughs> so, um, I, I think I don't think it's going to come with the home dock. No, I think the home dock itself is probably going to cost you about hundred bucks. Oh, so and that's going to knock the price down of the physical console itself. It's going to be sold as a handheld. Oh, I think and it's, it's going to be a handheld. Yeah, so I think I think that'll cut down the overall cost. Oh. People are going to be intrigued, although a lot of people aren't going to be hundred percent sure that, that it doesn't actually come with the console portion of it. In terms of the controllers. I think it's a great idea having all of these options yeah. because I like the, uh, it's basically the Wii U Pro control, not, not the one you have, not the wireless thing, mm-hmm. but like the one, sorry, I guess it's a Wii Pro controller. Oh, okay. This one's very similar to that. And I was very excited for that. Um, that's the one I use in Smash and Mario Kart and everything. Uh, then there are the side controllers. The Joy-Cons. The Joy-Cons. L and R. So. I love it. Taking those off to play individually, so say if you're playing two players on it with somebody, that looks awful. That I'm never going to do. No? No. Steve, 
What if it's something like Shovel Knight, and it's like the two player? And that's all you need is we'll, you just we'll need a move the, and we'll jump. Use like the Pro version controller. <laughs> We're not using these little fucking. No. 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 It's <laughs> not big. Okay, it's, it's not the size C. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Hey, that's I'm excited though. Yeah. Had they had pre orders set up and be like, pre order is available now. Right then I would have got it. That's yeah. how excited I was. With that said, now being less on the hype, still very excited. I need to know all these things before I spend my money. So I'm really glad they didn't do that, or else I'd be three forty nine out. Yeah. For sure. Because I would have paid for it. Yeah. Now I think I think it has to come with a Home console version, like the little port that you put it. I think it has to. I think that's part of it. Like they showed it so predominantly in the trailer. They did. It has to be a thing. Like it, they made it very clear. Goes in. You're at home. Take it out. Go walk your dog and play without the sun. On I think it's thing. just showing options. I don't, I don't think it's necessary. And I think that'll oh, take yeah. a massive price off the. Uh... It probably would take a lot off. Yeah. Oh man. I don't know. I think the Joy-Con... Could, uh, I like that. The Joy-Con. Yeah. Because, like, joystick controller. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's, nice. I think they look nice. And, like, the, they have the C buttons back instead of the D-pad. Yeah. Although, there's no real D-pad. Not unless you get the Pro... The Pro, the pro version Which looks like an Xbox One controller. Yeah. Which, thank God, it looks like an Xbox One controller. With yeah. With the offset. We use being all drunk, having them both up top, and it's like, how am I supposed to sense. touch these buttons down here? And yeah. psh, hmm. Ain't got time for that. Nintendo. I'm surprised there's no, like, infringement on that. <laughs> but then again, Ouya did it too. Yeah. And then I saw a post, and it's like, doesn't this look familiar? And then it showed the Nintendo Switch controller and the Ouya controller, and I was like, T-Game. The only thing familiar, or similar here, the off uh, analog sticks. Yeah. And then the color. Whatever, because the Ouya... Literally took the off analog sticks from the Xbox. Mm-hmm. So how are you comparing those two? Fuck off! Like, <laughs> it's, if one can do it, let the other one fucking do it without raising a concern. Yeah. What do you think? It's memory. Memory? Just guesses, so that when this does come out, we'll refer back to this video and be like, "I was right here. I was right here. I was right here. I was wrong right here. I was wrong right here." I think it's because it is like an iPad, right? Yeah. It is. Might have like a thirty-two gigabyte hard drive. Maybe a 64, because like, that's probably what an iPad has, right? Or an I have iPhone. no idea. I don't use them. Like iPhone, iPad. Yeah. But, and that'd probably be low enough to keep it cheap, because like, if you had a 500 gigabyte hard drive, but the like, games which is big, are massive. They are. So what do we do? What's the solution? I feel like the 32 would just be like, hey, um, this has your saves on it. This has the system software on it. Hmm. Everything else is on the game thing. Oh, so no installing games. Or you can get an SD card and put that in. I like the SD card, but I'm still worried. How large can SD cards go? Um, good question. Yeah. I have no idea, to be honest with you. And I should have looked this up before. See, I hope it's not like the Vita in the sense where it's proprietary memory cards, because with the Vita, it's super expensive. Yeah. But then again, if you get a 32 gigabyte card... You're set because they're not full AAA games. They're these more bite-sized the, yeah, experiences. Like this were like this was full yeah. AAA games. Yeah, it was. Well, they showed Skyrim and what NBA. Yeah, Skyrim's a massive game. Skyrim's a massive, especially game. if it's going to be the HD, like the definitive edition. Mm-hmm. With that said, is there a chance that it's going to be just enough memory to save your games? No real hard drive to install anything, yeah. and it's just just the cartridges. Yeah, you think so? I think so. Now, because the games are cartridges, do you think they'll go backwards compatible with 3DS? The cartridges look smaller than the 3DS. I don't think it's going to be backwards compatible. Do you think there'll be a second slot? Maybe. I thought they looked bigger than 3DS. Really? It looked like, it was, it looked like more like a so. Vita uh, game. Well, game card. Fair enough. And then, I don't know. They'd yeah. be cool. Um, this... <sighs> I like how this looks, like, expensive. It looks nice. It looks good, yeah. Whereas, like, this looks like an iPad, whereas the Wii U looked like a Fisher-Price toy. Exactly. And it's like... It's I literally the Fisher-Price that. toy version of <laughs> the NX, the Switch. Yeah. I think they should just... They should have stuck with the NX. Because everyone <laughs> was calling it the NX. Like, everyone. 
So uh, the switch. Yeah, the switch isn't bad actually. I think it. It's not S. It's X. Switch. Switch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this. Um, uh, I'm really excited. You're really excited, Steve. Yeah. Now, what games do you think will come out within the first year? So the first year. at launch in, in March. In March. It's fair to say, I think that Zelda. Yeah. Because Wii U makes sense why they pushed that back. Yeah, they probably want to be day and date on both. Launch. Probably. Uh, we saw Mario. Do you think it'll be a launch title? I think that will probably be holiday that year. Okay. Yeah, because that looked like a Mario 64 style game or yeah. something. So that'd be a, probably a really good holiday release for that. So what do you think the launch titles will be? I think you'll probably get Zelda. You'll probably get uh, Mario Kart because they showed it, but it wasn't quite Mario Kart 8. It was when, it was almost like Mario Kart 8 Plus. Yeah, because it had the item switch. Yeah. And I was like, are they going to call it Mario Kart 8 Switch? Are they going to call it Mario Kart Switch? The question about that, though... 8S? Okay, I'll, I'll let you finish this part, though. The launch titles. Yeah. Or is it just, like, is it going to be that Mario Kart 8 with all the DLC and then extra stuff for the Switch? Yeah. Um, I think you'll also get Splatoon at launch. At launch. Yeah. <laughs> See, my or launch window. Do you think they're going to move digital games from the Wii U over to the NX? Or the, the Switch? <laughs> the <what> Switch. I, <laughs> I don't know. They, it's hard because that's Nintendo's been really shitty at that. No, or, they've been great for that. No, Steve. Yeah. You have to buy the same game like 20 times to have okay. on all your devices. You're going to have to buy all it. All of your tw- devices. Yeah. Let's look at like uh, the 3DS yeah. being backwards compatible with the DS. Mm-hmm. You could do both with the Wii U, backwards compatible with the Wii. Yeah. Perfect. So you're set right there. So that's at least, that's like 10 years of being able to be backwards compatible. Before that, for sure. And you have to buy the same shit you've yeah. always purchased. Yeah, you buy but Super Mario Bros. again. You they've been them. backwards compatible for all this time. Even, you, you can't even go back further than that in that sense, though, because before that was the GameCube. Mm-hmm. Uh, and even then, the Wii, the Wii was backwards compatible with the GameCube games. Yeah. So, really, the only thing they've been making you repurchase were, like, uh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, N64, you know, anything that wasn't digital. I think really. if they made the Wii U games backwards compatible with the Switch, there wouldn't be a reason to buy a new Mario Kart 8S or Mario Kart 8 Switch. See, that's where I was trying to go with this. Do you think they're going to force you to purchase this new... Because, personally, I won't purchase another Mario Kart already. I yeah. feel like I it's just been t- bought one. I bought my Wii U from Mario Kart. I got that bundle. I think I did the same. I didn't get yeah. that bundle, though, but, you but got- we bought it at the exact same time. Yeah. I bought a different bundle and bought that separately. Yeah, you got more games than me. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> yeah, I got a really good deal. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think they might make their digital marketplace backwards. Yeah? I hope so, because they also said they're going to have uh, Amiibo support. Yeah, Amiibo support. So if it's not backwards compatible, what are we doing with those amiibos? <laughs> what are you doing with those amiibos, now, Steve? <laughs> I have, uh, I technically have two, but the one Craig just gave me because he wasn't going to use it. And I'm not going <laughs> to use it. He's like, I've got an extra. I've got my shovel knight amiibo. Oh, I should have brought cool. that over here. Yeah. I think that they have to have backwards compatibility. Like, what else are they going to use amiibos for? Do they even have more amiibos planned? I don't. Know. I don't think so. I don't know, maybe it's just a going forward type thing, though. It's like, oh, new uh, Mario game's coming out. You can use your Mario am- Amiibo for that. That's fair. I should check the time. We have a little bit of time. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Do you have any questions? Any thoughts? What about you? What do you think, uh, launch window? Launch window? Or, launch la- or launch year, I should say, yeah. That's a tough one, because they're definitely going to have Zelda. Zelda, for sure. They can have Splatoon and Mario Kart, but the only issues with those is that I don't think enough people are going to care. They look like I already played this, I or... Literally just played that. And Splatoon only came out, like, last year. Yeah. No one's going to repurchase that, at least. If it's backwards compatible, and then they give you shit or something, or they make you pay a little bit more for the extra things, sure. But no one's going to repurchase the whole pr- the whole game for 60 bucks or whatever. Yeah. I think they have to have another launch game. They need something. They can't just have Zelda and two games we've already played. I think they'll probably have Skyrim. Sky, okay. But then again, that's, at that point, who's going to care? It's been out for five months on PS4 and Xbox One. Yeah. Like, are you going to wait that long just so you can play it on the go sometimes if you want? 
Yeah. Yeah. And that's a game I don't know if I would even want to play on the go. Don't get me wrong. That could be your one game on the go and you'd be set. Yeah. But at the same time, that's a game that I never want to just jump back into. You know, that's a game I would want to, even though there's a thousand things you can do, a thousand little storylines, it's not something I just want to jump back into in the <laughs> middle of it when I'm going on a trip somewhere. Yeah. You no, know, I just, I don't know. But it's the type of thing where you got, you've been playing Skyrim for 40 hours at home, but now you got to go on a trip and you can keep playing on that trip. That's true. Yeah. And then when you get there at the hotel, plug it back in, you're playing on the TV again. Yeah. You're 100% right. You don't Which have to so stop exciting. Skyrim. <laughs> well, it's... even at the hotel, though, you probably can't plug it in because they always have those things. Oh, yeah. Like HDMI ports and uh, the colors, anyways. So. That's true. Yeah. But, oh, Steve. I think this is what the Vita wanted to be, but since it's just the one device for their console and handheld, yeah. it can be that. It can do AAA games on the go. I'm going to call Mario his launch title. Yeah? Now, based on what we saw, probably not, but they need something big. They need a reason for people to be buying this. And then they need to have something big in the fall. And I guess they're going to have the sports in the summer. But yeah, like tennis or whatever. Yeah. It's really too bad that we have to wait until like 2017. So like two, three months before the game launch or before the system launch, before we hear anything more. Yeah. Anything more. So pre-orders are probably going to start before that. I would imagine. See, I... I can't justify a pre-order until I know yeah. the well, specs. On Amazon, if you pre-order, are you committed to it, or can you back out? Uh, you can back out. You don't get charged until it's released. Okay, so that's how I'd pre-order then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm really excited for it. I haven't been excited for a Nintendo system in a long time. Yeah, I haven't been either, but the way they did that trailer, like, clearly it was, like, targeted to our demographic, like, your 20s. It, it's no children. Yeah. It's just no people, children. it's like, hey. It's people on the go. People yeah. doing stuff. Remember playing Mario Kart when you were a kid? You can play that in the truck, the van now. You yeah. Can, yeah. Even though. You want to go to your friend's party and be antisocial? Yeah, you can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> Even though, like, I'm not going to play it in half of the locations that they said, I'm not going to go to the park and play. Oh, no. A kid's going to hit me with a frisbee or a soccer ball. I'm not going to play there. I'm going to play on a long-ass fucking trip, on a long mm. car ride. That's actually the only place I'm probably going to play. If it's anything like my Vita, I'll play it at my house. It's like, or it's like the TV's in use. I can just play this in my room. Or I can, yeah. I can do this and watch YouTube videos. I can do whatever. What about because this is the only, well, the handheld console hybrid? Yeah. What do you think that means for Pokemon? Does that mean they keep Pokemon on the 3DS, or do they move it over to this and somehow have like a cross connection because they can't just let you? Oh, oh, Pokebank. Pokebank. I That's think it's, the connecting. Yeah, it's moving over. That's I think exciting. They'll probably support the 3DS for like a year or whatever, and then they'll try to slowly cut it off so that way they can push the Switch. And then no Pokemon next year because th- we just got Sun yeah. and Moon, or we will be getting. I wouldn't be surprised if they port Sun and Moon and over. Ooh, that'd be nice. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So how... Oh, okay. I'm just trying to think. If you port it over, I guess they mm-hmm. could do that. Yeah. Or just do what they did sometimes, where they do the third game, where it's like, oh, you can catch all the Pokemon here. You can yeah. do all this. And just a hybrid version. Yeah. yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. Right. A lot of potential. I think the only thing that might hold it back, besides battery power and the memory, is how powerful is this system? Like, is it as powerful as, like, launch PS4 and Xbox One? Does it need to be, though? I think it does. I don't J- know. T- for like the AAA like developers, like the like the EA, the Activision, the Ubisoft, it needs to be close. It yeah. needs to be like somewhere in the same field, like or it has to be the same like type of structure for them to develop for. So it's not like Xbox 360 and PS3, where it's like this one's so easy, this one's really fucked up. <laughs> well, <laughs> but if they didn't have that, if they didn't have mm-hmm. that power behind it. Like, they, they showed a thing on their Twitter page of all the developers behind... Not all of them, sorry. Yeah. The majority or the biggest names. There was a lot of fucking names on there. And yeah. big names, too. And it's like, these guys know what they're doing. They're not going to partner with Nintendo, who just got shit on that whole last generation, just to have it not work. Like, they, they have to have faith in it, yeah. in terms of what it can do. I imagine it's going to be somewhere between, like, 
the 360, the PS4, or sorry, the 360, PS3, and this generation of Xbox One and PS4. It's going to be yeah. somewhere in between there, but I don't think it's going to be on the same level. It's mm-hmm. a, it's a, it's a portable system. Yeah, you know, you can only do so much in relation to yeah. a box. Right? Yeah. So it's like if it did have that much power, it's like okay, you last thirty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> like that would have to be the whole thing would have to be a big battery. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I am too. All right. Anything else you want to talk about regarding it today? <sighs> Advertising was amazing. That was amazing. I like the controllers. Switch. What about the Switch? I like it. I think... It's a good name. I want to pre-order it when I can. Yeah. But is this going to be like a Vita thing where I pre-order it, I go to EB Games like two hours You're not going to be the only one. And I'm going to be the only person there. And they're like, Josh, what are you doing here? <laughs> We didn't even know the video came out today. <laughs> no, there's a lot of hype behind this. Yeah. I think a lot of people are excited. Well, people were excited for the Vita 2, and then they, like, close to release, they started saying, memory cards are expensive. This is this. This is this. And it just kept, like, getting bad news, mm. bad news, bad news. And it's like, is that going to be the same thing with this? Yeah, like, they need to get that done now. Yeah. They, Let us know. Like, give us, like, we got hype. Give us some bad news, but then give us some more hype. Be like, oh, look, uh, we got... Uh, Got Here's this game, and this yeah. game, and yeah. this game. We got a Metroid coming. Yeah. We got an F-Zero coming. Yeah. We got a Donkey Kong. Yeah. All of your digital games. Yeah. We need uh, a Nintendo network. Yes. We need, oh. While we have our user IDs for purchasing, we don't have... We need an IDs. achievement system. We need a lot. They need A to, reward system. Yeah. 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 Let's check this. Oh, shit. We got to wrap up. Okay. Uh, sorry, because that... Clocks out at 29 minutes, and we're almost there. Okay. Uh, where can they reach us? <laughs> you can reach us at chapspodcast at gmail.com. You can comment on this video on the YouTube. Yep. You can find us at Facebook at chapscastpodcast. Yeah. At gmail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> at gmail.com <laughs> on our Facebook. Uh, um, find us on iTunes at chapscast. I jumped the gun because that's 28. Hit that first, though. Then went over there. Oh, so okay. we do have a few seconds. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> 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 Uh, subscribe if you like the video. Maybe give us a thumbs up. Uh, we're looking to do more giveaways in the future. Yeah, or so, uh, Steam codes we've got, but Steam we've got a few things to do first. And I also have a code for a game as well. Ooh. Yeah, I have no idea. It's a retro game, so oh, I'm my. thinking to time it with another game that's similar to it. And right. Yeah, it'd be good. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next week. Next week. It'll be on Friday, our next episode. After all, well, Monday, no, Friday, Chapscast following Monday for this. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, everybody.